Why are you beeping? It says stop for you. Oh, hell starts to hate them. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have manual. Like, Americans don't have manual cars, do they? Oh my goodness. Now boys, boys, you know as much as I do. I'll be holding a press conference once the autopsy's been completed. I have two of my finest investigators on the case, fresh from bringing down the sword of justice on the crazed sex... Captain, aren't there similarities between this murder and the murder of Celine Henry? And of Elizabeth Short, for so that matter. You don't matter. believe there's a crazed sex killer at large boys, preying on women? Boys, be sensible. We have the greatest police force in all the world, with the greatest scientific investigators at our disposal. How can any killer continue to be that? Be Easily. Advised. We keep the gas chamber at San Quentin primed for the sons of Cain, who continue to believe they can take a life in the city of angels. Yeah, right. Any new leads in the Dahlia case? Run along, boys, and let these officers get to work. We have God's work to do here, and it can't be delayed. What do we have, Captain? Another woman sacrificed. Speak to Carruthers. I want daily reports, gentlemen. I think my argument in his position is like, well, we don't know anything about this case yet, so we can't really talk about it. Once we know. I was first on scene. Which, which, who is that? You hey, what's seem going to on? be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? You're a modest. You find her, Gonzalez? Not me. Family out for a stroll. I was first reporting. Can you show me the body? It's under the pepper tree, this way. But yeah, like, surely you say we're looking into it, and once we've got more evidence, we'll be able to say for sure if there's any connection between them. You just leave it neutral rather than. Definitely not. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. When was the last time you were of any help? Here she is. I mean, that was a bit harsh, but... What size are these shoes? The stopping angle in the Henry case. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. Similar remote. To what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad he wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. Size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. Size eight? What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. Angry boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. You mind if I examine the body? Be my guest. Uh, maybe it's another reason why we should have checked, um... Uh, thingy. Check the sh see if there shoes, because that would give us that information. Okay, the right hand. Nothing. Oh, that is a vicious scar on the neck. No, that's not. Ooh. Look at your mark, it's very distinctive. Bees. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Okay, the right shoe. Never the same, are they? What's this mark? A cut on a finger. It's another ring. Fourth finger, left hand. Wedding or engagement ring, violently removed. Mm. Hang on. Oh, never mind. I can't click on that. What I want to see. So, oh, it's just that's just a scar. Is there anything? There's no writing this time. Okay. And she was stomped, but we already knew that. Right. Her purse. Is there anything in here? Well, we have a name. 
Can you run Deirdre Muller by r &I? Back in a second. Parent Teacher Association. If the motive was robbery, why not take the money? It wasn't a robbery then. Quite clearly. It's a trophy. I mean, assuming we I'm assuming this is going to be a series in Homicide. So that would imply a trophy. So that goes with the serial killer idea. I think that's just an empty bottle. It's not going to be useful. But I've got to do something with all this looks. I'm sure this means much. Oh no, it's just a, that's just a throwing away thing. Don't, that's not relevant. Bing bong. That's just a cigarette. Talk to you? No. Let's go back to Gonzalez. I'm stumped. Ideas? Take a close look at the victim, Phelps. We know her story. We can narrow down our list of suspects. Oh, I was waiting for him to come back. I think it might just be we come back down to get the information. So what's going on over there? Why won't you tell me? Speak to me. How bad is? You're all rubbish, okay. So what have I missed? Maybe look back at the body. Maybe there's another clue I've missed. Have a look at your marks. I don't think there's anything I've actually. I don't think there's anything I've actually not looked at yet. Unless the shoes. But I can't interact with the talk. I think about the shoes. What do you think? Take a close look at the victim, Phelps. If we know her story, we can narrow down our list of suspects. But. I think I've seen it all. Nails broken again. Okay. Nothing. On the other hand, looks like she was tied up. Oh, uh, I didn't see that one. It does it first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Okay, right. There we go. Another day, another dollar. Oh, there he is. Now he's come back. Detectives. RNI says a Deidre Mahler of 130 North Bonnie Bray was reported missing this morning by her husband, Hugo Mahler. What I tell you? Just grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over. We can have this wrapped up by lunchtime. Why would he... What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? Why would he say she was missing if... You're a modest little person. Much... <sighs> that doesn't make it... Yeah, she... why would he declare her missing? I mean, admittedly, you get the awful. retired Cullerman problem from Sherlock Holmes, where he kind of deliberately reports it. Can you drive to this one? So that it, he can try and hide. Where are we he can say, oh, no, I did everything. So you kind of do have to declare him missing, but still, don't like it. Freshman, I still might be some play in the boyfriend angle. I thought we were on our way to lock up the husband. If it doesn't work out, that is. Deirdre Muller has suffered enough, more than enough. You shouldn't make disparaging comments about her without even the slightest inkling of what she was like. She was a woman, wasn't she? Well, around about my third divorce, I realized women might not be the pure angels we imagined. You're married, ain't you, Phelps? Don't make any insinuations about my wife. Hey, she's a woman. She's the mother of my children. <laughs> you're a father, Cole? But don't tell me your eye don't bend. This conversation is over. Considering he was... The way he was sitting in the, um, for whatever, whatever name the singer, the German singer. I think, yes, his eye doth bend.
Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What's your name, miss? Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Rock roll. Could you have a seat for me, Michelle? We're going to have a look around. <laughs> We're going to have a look around. By that means I'll have a look around. Stop blingling and then not letting me look at the thing that's blingling. Oh, someone said I should switch that off. I could switch that off, but... My partner will explain everything when you do that, okay? No good to me. Oh, that's nice of Rusty. He's... He's being kind and quiet and other such things. You can strum. It's not really worth it, I don't think. This is the gentleman's shoe. Oh, they're an eight. Workbooks. Size eight. Now, they haven't got the right kind of... Um, underneath, kind of underneath shoe. Grip. Soul. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. I mean, that would make sense. Want this to be the ring. No sign of a wedding ring. Yeah, because it was ripped from her finger. You're not paying attention, Cole. Oh. Is there anything on? No, nothing. Nothing important, apparently. about mommy. Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. <laughs> Do you think you could answer a few questions for us? Try. I think pretty much it's going to be truth every single time. Because I I don't think she's going to lie, and also, I, I would sincerely hope they wouldn't make a game where you have to shout at a grieving child. When did you last see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. And did he come and get you? Oh my goodness. Of course. Some boys offered me a ride home, but that's not the right thing to do. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. So, oh my, like, so... Is doubt doubt or is it shout? I mean, pick one game. If it's just meant to be doubt, then the previous things are all bad and bad game designing. And here it's like, actually, yes, like truth is actually believing them and not kind of being gentle. Oh, pick what it is. Because that's that's the point. It's like you can gently be like, mm, I'm not sure that's what that is. And you can be shouty and whatever, and you're sh you're telling me I need to shout at a child. I've just told their mother is dead. Ugh. Some of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Okay, now that I'm really tempted to doubt. 
You seem reluctant to talk about her. Oh my god. What? What? It's a touchy subject with Daddy. I thought she wasted too much money on her appearance. I mean, admittedly, I'm being stereotypical there, but you're telling me that a 15 year old girl has never been interested in her mother's jewelry at all in any way. I mean, I realize it's, that's very stereotypical, but there's a, there's a reason that's a generalization, because in general, that's true. Oh, you seem unsure of it. It's like, are we going back to the kind of two is a bit kind of like, grr, and the first one's like, well, like, surely you've thought about the jewelry, because that's one, but that's not truth! That's still doubting! But the first one was just... Oh! Um, this, this, this questioning is rubbish. It's stupid. Your mom and dad are uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean... They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Leading Just question. Once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. I know this is a tough time for you, Michelle, but you should really try and help the police. <laughs> 